Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to Fixing Up the Commonwealth. Hope you're well. We can see Oberland Station is starting to really um, come together now. Thanks for all the response on the last video. Thanks for all the suggestions. And today we are going to build in here. Right there. Yes, we are. So, my idea for today's build, a quick and dirty little school, um, whack it together and um, do a bit of deco and we should be good. So let's get into the build menu. Well, we're going to use the uh, brick pieces that come with Workshop Rearranged today. And one of the things that I was kind of conscious of, we've got a lot of scrappiness going on. But we're standing on a building that's fairly clean and to try and match this building with not only the one we're standing on but some of the buildings around um, is the reason I kind of chose to go with the brick um, look. It's one, two, three, five along if you've got workshop rearranged so you can follow along at home. <laughs> and um, nothing real, really um, mind-blowing about this build today. Um, some of these kind of pieces take a while to get in, but there's nothing that is isn't too uh, too taxing. Let's just say, um, one of the things that I do decide to do is leave a space between that roof and the end of the building, mainly because I want to um, make sure that we create a little pathway round the corner into into that building that we've previously built because that is going to be for the school teacher or whoever is teaching here in the school today now it's been a while since i've done i've done a couple of schools i've done one at the castle if you haven't checked out my castle build that was quite a while ago but um go and check that one out i had a real lot of fun doing the castle um and i've done that on a live stream um, over a period of weeks it probably took me about 10 or 12 weeks to complete um, I'm thinking for Fallout 76 which will we will be getting news about this week hopefully we might already had some news um, I will be going back to live streaming and so I'm working at the moment on getting all my bits and bobs together to improve the streaming uh, content on the channel so Obviously, as well, I'm looking forward to doing some collaboration with some other YouTubers and, and other Fallout 4 builders and also you guys, the subs, on uh, Fallout 76. So, if you have Xbox and you'd like to be do some collaboration or just some co-op gameplay in 76, let me know and um, we can hook up and possibly do some stuff for the channel together, which I think is what I'm most excited about. So here what I'm trying to do is I'm just trying to figure out the doorway on that side, which is going to go there and through there. And there we go. Very, very narrow area to work in, but um, actually what ends up looking pretty schmick. And I'm going to actually show you the finished build of this today, um, if I can remember. <laughs> so. The very last piece that we're going to put in is this single door from um, Workshop Rearranged. Only because it's the space kind of warrants it. And I'll just put a filler board up the top, probably a little bit later, just to fill the top gap and make sure that the height is right. There we go. Boom. So door in, door out. Students will come in through there. School teacher will go to his little abode up in there. Pretty simple stuff. Now, with Workshop rearranged with these blocks, I don't know if you've used them before. If you haven't, he actually has now put in uh, windows and he's put in window panes as well. So you'll see, I'll just pop all the, and they just snap straight into place like that. Look at that, fantastic. And there's a few different um, configurations of the windows. Not sure what the difference is, but there you go, probably a different trim or something. Just pop all those windows in there. And um, going, probably going in my handiwork, I would think. Now, I do try and put these um, floor panels down. And they won't snap. Usually these will snap. And it's possibly that we're using a roof from um, Snappy House Kits. And these are designed to snap onto floors. So, I do end up putting a floor in here. I don't think I show you it, but... Um, 
anyway, you get the idea. So moving light, right along, we're going to grab a roof from Snappy Ice Kits from the church um, kit. And it's the same roof that's already on this building at the other end. And we're going to snap those on. They do snap, despite what you see here. They will snap on eventually. Um, sorry that we haven't... Oh, okay, that's a different look, isn't it? Um, sorry that we haven't uh, showed you the finished decoration on the um, small builds that we've done in the last couple of weeks. Basically because I haven't done the decoration yet. So <laughs> I'm trying to hold off on it mainly because uh, of the frame rate issues we we've, we're having. I'd rather get all this building in first and then do the decoration of those buildings um, a little bit later. And um, so please be patient because I think we have a few more buildings to do and then I think pretty much we'll, I'm going to call this um, done. Now, you can see that snap, snap, and then this one snaps and then suddenly decides it doesn't want to snap so it's it really it's just a bit persistence in the end and um, it is quite frustrating now the other thing that happens apart from me falling off the building and you can see the frame rate suddenly just dive bombs here look at this yeah so you can tell i'm getting dangerously close again to you know overbuilding but it's all right it will snap into place eventually um Sometimes with some of these mo some of the module running your cause frame rate issues like this as well. Um, one of the things that happens is this roof, this building's a bit too long for this to snap another roof in, and you'll see in a second. There you see that. I don't know why that. So we we'll snap that one in, and now we have an overhang. So I'm like, I don't like that. I don't like the look of that. So we're gonna have to take that out, and we'll just put a a floor piece into there. Um, so these by rights should snap in. They don't. Of course they don't. But anyway, <laughs> we are, we'll, we'll persuade them into there. I'm just measuring to shoot, make sure that that's going to fit in there. I'll put them down somewhere. Snap, they, snap them into place. And we're good. So, see, I see that wall and I go, yeah, I'm going to put that there, roughly. Actually, we end up moving that. So I've left this in basically because it kind of gives you an idea if you come across this problem. Now I can't grab that piece. Okay, there we go. If you come across this problem um, where the, the roof's just hanging out too much, um, I left it in to show you how I get past it. And it's it's a very easy solution. See, there's a gap there now. Like, oh dear, what are we going to do? And I'm like, well, that's pretty easy fix. We'll just go back um to the stone pieces and we'll just drop a, f a floor in there it's pretty simple stuff so initially what i do is i put a wooden floor in here now yeah that doesn't quite look right uh, it probably needs to be the the uh, pieces that we've been using and i don't think it takes anything away from the look of the build to be honest it's um We'll get there eventually. There we go. Just drop that in there. Boom. Done. Let's see what it looks like. There we go. See? Looks a bit weird, but anyway, I'm happy with it. Okay, so not too much more to do as far as building goes. Just checking. Everything is a de anti shimmered and everything's kind of sort of where it should be. Maybe just nudge that a fraction. There we go. Yep, yeah, all good. Okay. What next? So what I'm going to do is out there is gap just above the door there. And I thought the wall boards were in here, but they obviously aren't. So I'm going to have to go to um, the wood structures uh, menu and go to walls cross come on there we go and then go to filler boards or gap fillers or whatever it's called and that will fit in there absolutely perfectly there we go okay a couple of finishing attaches and i'm going to put a um, little kind of uh, awning on the side there right there these are kind of weird because they snap uh, in mid-air 
and don't snap where there should be. You'll see in a second. This is just going to suddenly go green. Yep, see it? There it is. See it in mid-air. Don't know why it does that, but <laughs> I'll take it. Drop that up above the door. Drop it into place. And we are good in the hood, as they say. So, a little bit of decoration. We'll drop some doors in. And then we'll come back and do a little bit of a look-see. So I'm going to go with these uh, brown wooden doors. Very boring, I know, but it kind of fits. It fits. Well, that's my story uh, with the building. Okay, guys, let's do a tour and then uh, we'll finish the video. I would assume the teacher's in a shared accommodation here in the uh, building we had before. We'll just walk our way through. Very short video today, guys. It was we're really starting to come to the end of the process of building here, so it's lots of uh, fill-in buildings. So let's go in and see what the schoolroom looks like now. So we'll turn this way so you can't see. You've got little railings on there so you don't fall off. Ready for lessons, and there you go. Very simple design, but very, very effective. Um, I have uh, had a few issues with decoration mods, so I'm missing a couple of things, but... You can see we've put some beams and stuff in, but there's not too much to this. Some lockers for the kids to put their stuff in there. Oop, try and get out. And, um, and a little area out here to have a look over the rest of the settlement. There we go. All good. So let's run upstairs, run down here and run upstairs and see, get a, an overall look at how this kind of looks. We might go up one more level. It kind of signed a, a sort of blends into the station, and you'll see in a sec. So there you go. So guys, hope you're enjoying this. Not too much more to do, and then we're finished the settlement. Thanks for watching. Thanks for all the support on the segment, and we'll catch you next time on Gaming for XP. See ya!